Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see how to fix the sinless C zone zero F not working, keeps crashing, stuck on loading. So let's get started. Price requirements in order to access this particular software is and it's recommended to use a system with the 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor or better with a minimum 8 GB of RAM or more it's better to have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 or better if you are using a iOS that is a iPhone iPhone 11 Pro or later models would be the better A13 Bionic Apple iPads or the better with the minimum 4 GB of RAM or more Mac currently does not support this Suppose if you are using a Android device, it's better to have a Snapdragon 888 processor with the dimensity of a 200 Kirin of 9000 or better and a RAM of minimum 8 GB or more. Okay, so this is the recommended but sometimes you will not be meeting these kind of requirements. But in that case, it's minimum to have a PC of 7th generation Intel Core i by processor 8 GB of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. If you are using the iOS iPhone XS or the later models A12 Bionic Apple iPads with the 4 GB of RAM, Mac currently not supported. Android of Snapdragon 855, immensity of 1200 or Kirin 990 or 8 GB of RAM. Okay, so that's the minimum requirement and uh, the minimum storage requirement is for the PC 57 GB of storage requirement for the iOS 26 GB of requirement is if available it's too good but if you are using a Android 20 GB of available space is very much required okay to check if your device has a SSD solid state hard drive installed proxies can be used like the disk management function in the windows steps so turn on your device and enter the operating system press the windows and x at the same time to find the disk management in the disk management select any disk on the top right and then click properties in the properties window open the tools tab and click on the optimize button in the optimize drives windows can view the type of your hard drive Okay, so this is the minimum requirement and it's always better to have a, a recommended requirement in order to access this particular application so that you can access the application without any kind of problem. Okay, number two is always try to use the latest or the updated version of the Zenless Zero Storm application. Okay, so here you can see the application is already installed and we can play this particular game. Okay, suppose here if it is showing instead of play, so if it is showing as update means here you can click on the update option so that you can update it to the latest version. Okay. Fix number three is go to the settings in order to clear the Zenless Zero Zone app caches and the cookies. So once you go to the settings, you can go to the apps then you can go to the app management and here you can select Zenless zone zero once you go to the particular application here you can go to the storage usage and here you can see the clear caches so the caches is around 15.1 mb so here you can click on the clear caches that will clear all the cookies and caches for this particular application. Four is, suppose if we have already opened the application and uh, you can, what you can do is like you can just close this particular application forcefully. Once you close this application forcefully, you can come out of that particular problem or the error, whichever the er problem or the error you are facing. So let's try to close this application forcefully. Okay, so we'll just try to close it.
You can also do the force close and uh, restart the Zenless Zero Zone app. So you can go to the settings here. You can go to the app management. Here you can search for the Zenless Zero Zone. Here you can see the force stop option. Once you click on this particular option, the forcefully the application will be stopped. Then again, you can open it from your end. Okay. You can restart your system. You can go to the start and here you can click on the power options. Then here you can click on the restart. Okay. So that will restart your system. What you can do is you can just uninstall and reinstall the Zendless Zone app. So in order to do that, you can go to the settings. Once you go to the settings, you can go to the apps. Here you can go to the app management and here you can go to the Zenless Zone 0. So once you go there, you can click on this particular uninstall option. So once you click on the uninstall option, the app will be automatically uninstalled from your device or the system. So what you want to do is like, you just click on this particular option. Okay, so once you click on that, it will ask whether do you really want to uninstall the application. So in this case, you can just click on OK, then you can uninstall the application. And again, if you want to install the application, means you can go to the Google Play Store and here you can search for the Zenless Zero Zone and here you can click on the install option which is next to the application so here i have already installed so that's why it is showing us the if you have uninstalled it from your device here it will show it as a install so in similar way here you can see okay and the fix number seven is we can probably wait for some time and then you can probably try again later